بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على Dear children, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. In today's lesson, we will learn Surah An-Nas. Surah An-Nas, Surah An-Nas is the last Surah of the Quran. In this Surah, we take refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or we take protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from our number one enemy, the most evil, wicked and worst enemy. Each one of us has a shaitan always with him. Don't be afraid. We have angels too, always with us. And Allah with his huge power is always there with us also. How many students are here? 25, 30. So there are at least 25 shayateen right here. And there are at least 25 angels too. And Allah is high above us, watching and protecting us all. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us, and therefore He gave us this perfect formula in this surah to protect ourselves from shaitan. Allah gave this surah at the end of the Quran, so even if we finish the Quran, we need to follow it. And shaitan does not want us to do that. Therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the end of the Quran gave us this surah to protect ourselves from shaitan. Let us start the surah. Let's take the first verse. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas Qul Say A'udhu I seek refuge I take refuge Bi rabbin nas in the Lord of the people, in the Lord of mankind. Say, I take refuge in the Lord of mankind, or I take protection. Let us try to understand. Qul means say. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us to say? That is, not only we should read Quran, understand Quran, believe in Quran, but also practice it and say it to the whole world, teach it to the others, say it to others in the most beautiful way, not rude way, in the most beautiful and kind way. What should we say and what should we do? A'udhu bi rabbin nas, A'udhu, I take refuge in Allah, I take protection of Allah, and as I say it, I believe, I know that Allah is right above us, right there to protect us, Rabbin Nas, Rabb of humans. What does that mean? One who feeds all of them, helps them grow, takes care of them. Not only food, but there's something, you know, which Allah feeds us every second. What is it? Oxygen. Try to block your nose. And you know that you cannot stay more than a couple of minutes. And maybe you will say, well, we buy food. No. If the earth does not grow food, can we eat money? Can we eat papers and bills and coins? No, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is feeding us, who is helping us grow, who is taking care of us. Not only us, Rabbin Nas. Imagine around 7-8 billion people on this earth and then see how Allah feeds all of them, helps all of them grow, answers their needs. What a huge arrangement. Feel, you know, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is feeding all the people around the globe. So, feel his power and his generosity and his kindness when you say, Bi Rabbin Nas. Next verse is, Malikin Nas. Malik, king. And Nas, of mankind. The king of mankind. Again, when we say this, we recite with feeling. So, visualize or feel that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in full control of each of these 7-8 billions of people. He gives them life as well as death. He is the real and true king with all the powers. He is the king of all humans as well as the rest of universe. He is the real king, the king of kings. When we say he is the king, 
then we should follow his orders also. Remember that we have to follow his orders. Third verse is Ilahinas, the God of mankind. Ilah means God or deity. He is the true God, even though many people may not worship him because they don't know or they are bad or arrogant. You may have heard of plane crashes. All those people inside the plane when it is about to crash, they cry and beg Allah, Lord, God, to save them. Why? They know that Allah is their God who can protect them. So everyone in big problems does the same. He is Ilahinna, God of mankind. So again, imagine those seven, eight billion peoples bowing down to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us feel the greatness of Allah, then continue. We will then really feel the power and effect of this surah, which is a prayer actually. So now let us practice these three verses together. Qul a'udhu bi nas. Qul, say, a'udhu, I take refuge. Bi nas, in the Lord of mankind. Malikin nas, Malik, the king. An nas, mankind. The king of mankind. Ilahin nas. Ilah, God. An nas, mankind. Ilahin nas, the God of mankind. The deity of mankind. Once again, Qul, say, A'udhu, I take refuge. I take protection. Bi Rabbin nas, in the Lord of mankind. Malikin nas, the king of mankind. Ilahin nas, the God of mankind. So we are taking the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is Rabb, who is King, who is God of everyone. From what? Let's continue. Min sharril waswasil khannas Min shar, from the evil. We have studied this min shar, min shar, min shar in Surah Al-Falaq. So min shar means from the evil. Of whom? al waswas of the whisperer, the one who whispers. al khannas the one who withdraws after whispering. Whenever we forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, shaitan whispers. As soon as we have bad feelings, we should immediately take Allah's protection. How? By saying, A'udhu Billah, or pray, or reciting the surah, or reciting Quran, correcting ourselves, have good manners, and so on. When we say, A'udhu Billah, and do good things, shaitan fails miserably. He gets defeated and he becomes khannas, that is he withdraws, he runs away. Let us practice this verse. Min sharril waswasil khannas Min shar from the evil al waswas the whisperer al khannas the one who withdraws after whispering. Min shar from the evil al waswas the whisperer al khannas the one who withdraws. That is whenever we forget Allah he whispers. When we remember Allah he withdraws. He goes away. Let's go to the next verse. Alladhi yuwaswisu fi sudurin nas Alladhi the one who yuwaswisu whispers fi in sudur chests or hearts sudur chests or hearts and nas of mankind. The one who whispers into the chests of mankind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually has given a chance to shaitan to whisper into our hearts. Why? This is a test for us to see if we listen to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or to shaitan. And you can easily find out when shaitan whispers. That's all for today. May Allah give us tawfiq to understand Quran, recite Quran, and act upon Quran and spread it. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta, nasta'afiruka wa natubi.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Dear children, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah We will continue with our lesson that we studied in the last class Please revise whatever we have studied and let us continue Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually has given a chance to shaitan to whisper into our hearts. Why? This is a test for us to see if we listen to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or to shaitan. And you can easily find out when shaitan whispers. When? Whenever you feel like lazy or sleepy at the time of prayers, salah, that's the most important. That means shaitan is there whispering or listening and watching bad things or saying bad things not listening to parents or giving with them or not listening to teachers spreading bad things about others fighting hitting talking rudely to others etc calling people bad names making bad faces breaking promises telling lies whenever you feel like doing these it is whisper from shaitan. Remember immediately. Say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Or recite this surah. And by the way, he has a special mission for you students. First, he will whisper you not to obey Allah. Not to pray salah. Not to obey parents or teachers. That is his first mission. And next, he will make you feel like not studying. Not doing homework. Or talking in the class, disturbing others, copying in the exams. Why? Because he wants you to be a beggar, a sweeper, a janitor when you grow up. Then you will have little chance of earning rewards or thawab of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because you will not have money to help others when you are poor. You will not have money to help others or you will not have money to help making masajid or anything or schools any good thing you will not have money and also because you will be poor then you will not have even time to pray properly and shaitan can relax so he's smart he wants to destroy you from right here so remember if you are doing these bad things you are in the trap of shaitan your worst enemy has hijacked you so whenever you feel like not studying most probably it is from shaitan so try to say A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem So let us practice this verse Al-Ladhi yuwaswisu fi sudurin nas Al-Ladhi the one who yuwaswisu whispers fi in sudurin nas chests of mankind or hearts of mankind Al-Ladhi the one who yuwaswisu whispers fi in sudur chests or hearts Anas of mankind, the one who whispers into the chests of mankind, meaning the one who whispers into the hearts of mankind. Let's take the last verse Min al jinnati wan nas, min from al jinna among jinns, wan nas and mankind. As we said in the beginning, each one of us has a shaitan with him always don't get scared we told you you have angels also with you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is right about there to protect us each one of us has a shaitan he's a jinn whom we cannot see so you cannot fight him you cannot avoid him you may say why is shaitan given so much power well Allah loves us he has shown us how to defeat shaitan easily Allah has in fact given us more powers to us than to shaitan Shaitan sees us, we don't see him, still we can defeat him by following Allah's instructions. Wow, isn't that great? So that is about jinn. What about shayateen in people? Well, you can see that also. A boy or a girl also can behave like shaitan. Anyone who asks us to do bad things or does bad things is like an agent of shaitan. Because he or she is following shaitan. Sometimes maybe our best friend might tell us to do bad things like spitting or hitting others in the class or copying in the exams and so on. In that case, he has become the agent of shaitan or the shaitan itself. 
We should not listen to such a person. And more importantly, we should never ask others to do bad things either. Let us practice. Minal jinnati from among the jinns, one and mankind. Minal jinnati from among jinns, one and mankind. Minal jinnati one from among jinn and mankind. That is the one who whispers. It can be from the jinns or from mankind or from people as we say from bad friends or people so in the end remember shaitan is very jealous of us because Allah loves us shaitan is the most evil wicked and worst enemy he is our enemy number one he wants us to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and lose everything that we have therefore love this surah and recite it again and again like Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did he used to recite He used to recite these surahs after every fard prayer, obligatory prayer, and also while going to bed for Allah's help and protection against all evil and dangers. That's about this surah. Now we come to spoken Arabic. We are learning two sentences here. When we remember Allah, we say, Ya Allah. Ya means O. Oh. Ya Allah. O oh Allah. Ya Allah means O oh Allah. Again, Ya Allah means O oh Allah. Very simple. And also, when we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or when someone asks us, How are you? We say, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah means all praise and thanks be to Allah. That means, thank Allah that I am okay, I am fine. This one is covered already in Surah Al-Fatiha. Now we come to grammar. In grammar, we learn six words today. So far, we have learned huwa, hum, anta, antum, ana, nah. He, them, you, you, I, we. Huwa, hum, anta, antum, ana, nah. Also, we have learned hiya, hunna, anti, antunna, ana, nah. She, them, you, you, I, we for girls and this was for boys also we have learned Rabbuhu his Lord Rabbuhum Rabbuka Rabbukum Rabbi Rabbuna can you translate Rabbuhu his Lord Rabbuhum their Lord Rabbuka your Lord Rabbukum your Lord Rabbi my Lord Rabbuna our Lord today we will practice it with one more word which is Deen Deen means way of life religion or way of life how we live is our deen islam is deen that's the way we should live so deenuhu his way of life deenuhum their way of life deenuka your way of life deenukum your way of life deeni my way of life deenuna our way of life let's do it in four cycles repeat after me deenuhu his way of life deenuhu his way of life deenuhum their way of life Dinuka, your way of life. Dinuka, your way of life. Dinukum, your way of life. Dinukum, your way of life. Dini, my way of life. Dini, my way of life. Dinuna, our way of life. Dinuna, our way of life. Now translate Dinuhu, his way of life. Dinuhum, their way of life. Dinuka, your way of life. Dinukum, your way of life. Dini, my way of life, Dinuna, our way of life. Now let us repeat in Arabic only. Assume that we are talking to Arabs, so that means our actions will show what we mean. Repeat after me. Dinuhu, Dinuhum, Dinuhu, Dinuhu, Dinuka, Dinukum, Dinuka, Dinukum, Dini, Dinuna, Dini, Dinuna. Now I will just show signs, and you will say what I mean. But just for Recording sake, I'm saying it low. Dino, Dino, Dinoka, Dinoko, Dini, Dinuna. Once again, Dino, Dino, Dinoka, Dinoko, Dini, Dinuna. Subhanallah, you'll be hemdi, Subhanakallahumma, you'll be hemdi, can I shadow Allah, Ilaha, 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 and Tanastafir, come out to be like.